Imagine you have a template Google Sheet that you want users to copy. Now inside this Google Sheet has some Google Apps Script bound scripts that allow for good functioning of the Google Sheet. Now you've probably noticed that there's a common problem where users don't run through the authorization process or start any starter scripts that you might have. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create a setup page for your Google Sheet where users run through the authorization process and then click on start a script and that will display all the sheet tabs that the user wants displayed, but keep the ones that they don't want displayed hidden. Okay, before we get started, I have two Google Sheets that I'm working on in this example. The first one is the template setup sheet. And the second one is just a dummy sheet with sheet tabs that we want displayed and the ones that we want hidden. Now, I encourage you to play along. And if you do play along, there are links in the description below for both of these sheets. So simply once you get them, go to file and make a copy of each one and we can get cracking. Okay, we're back. So what we're going to do in this example is just have this template setup sheet here that we're going to use in all of our projects in the future. Now, why do I do this? Well, basically, I've been testing a template setup page for a long time, and over trial and error, I've found that this is probably the most effective approach. It seems to get most users to run through authorization and run our startup script. So before we get into the code, let me just run through this startup page and explain why I think it's most effective. First off, I've got a clear title that explains template setup. A um, user might make a copy of a template and be surprised that there's only a template page there and not all the data that they're expecting. So we need to explain what's going on. And we do this uh, with our instruction underneath the header. This Google Sheet has a script attached to it that helps automate the workflow. You'll need to authorize the scopes used in this script and run the starter script. Next, we've got a bolded section that explains what's happening and then the button to click. And then we've got the same again for step two and then the starter button to click. Obviously, we don't want too much TLDR on the page. However, if you're a first time user and you've seen this startup script and you're not 100% sure what's going on, you do need a little bit more help. And I found the best compromise here is to have a little group button that expands and provides more details on each section. And we've got a little expand to read arrow pointing across to that plus button for people to explore. Cool. Now you can make your own version of this and then add it into your script, or I make a copy of this and add it into the Google Sheet template that I want to use. So let's run with that process now. So first I need to make sure I know my sheet title. So run script before reveal video, and then I'm going to go to the sheet tab, open it up and copy to existing spreadsheet, recent, and let's just type in run script. There it is there. It's this one here for us. And that should copy over successfully. Let's just check the other tab. Yeah, we can see that there, no problem. All right, so let's just click OK. We don't need to open it. We already have it there. OK, so we can now go ahead and close this sheet. And we can see over here we've got copy of templates set up. So let's rename that by double clicking and get rid of that copy of bit and hit enter. What's going to happen is the user is going to click this button, which will go to our startup function and it will run through authorization process the first time. And then the user will click this button and it'll run, go to the function and run through the startup script that we're going to use. Once it's finished, it will unhide this display one, two, and three and four, but keep notes and background data hidden. So first things first, let's go ahead and hide these values here. So I'm going to click on display one, hold shift down and go all the way over to background data. And that should select everything. Let's right click and hide. And all we've got here is our template set up. Great, let's jump into our Google Apps Script IDE. So extensions, Apps Script. Let's just update our title to run script before reveal and click on rename. And let's just head back over here. Now I wanna show you something important. Let's just check out these buttons for a moment. So right click on the button, don't click on the button because it'll try and run the script. And let's just click on these vertical ellipses that you can just see in the right hand, top right hand corner and go down to assign script. Now you can see the run script before reveal script has been assigned. And this is the function that we're going to use here. So I'm just going to select this and hit control C and go back over here and change my function to run script before reveal. 
All right, let's head back over to our Google Sheet and click on OK. And let me just show you something a little bit weird. So I'm going to right click on this button, click the ellipses again and click on Assign Script. And you can see I've got the same function here. That's weird, isn't it? So what's going on? Well, a little bit of subterfuge is going on here. Basically, if the user clicks any one of these buttons the first time, the authorization process will run. And then if the user clicks any one of these buttons the second time, the starter script will run. Why did I split it into two buttons? Well, over trial and error, I discovered that two buttons seems to be a more intuitive approach for the user to run through this process. And we've also got the fail safe of them clicking either button and the process works so long as they run it twice. Let's head back to our code. Okay, let's jump in. So first thing we want in our run script before reveal function is a starter function. And we'll put in a comment and we'll say, add your starter function. Here. And this is optional. And it could be any function here, but we'll just call it my starter function. And I'll just put in a sample one with some comments for you guys function. My starter, there it is there. When you're setting up a, a Google Sheets template for the first time, you could be creating more access to editors. You are providing starter content for a user that might need a recent update from somewhere else. You might be adding a time trigger, or you might be renaming titles to tabs or headers or something like that. So let's just uh, put in a couple examples here. So share. Fresh starter data. And we could add time triggers. Cool. All right, so it's just a sample. We're not going to write any actual code in that one. Next thing we need to do is to provide a list of all the sheet tabs, all the sheet tabs that we want revealed. So, so let's make a comment here and we'll call it selected tabs to unhide. And we'll make a constant variable here because it won't change. to reveal and we'll go equals and then we can put in an array a list of all the sheet tabs we want to be displayed so we'll go back here so we've got display one two three and four other ones we want displayed easy for us so display one put a comma there and then we'll just copy that and paste it over hey copy two, three, and four. And we'll get rid of that comma. So basically here we're just defining all our variables. So the next thing we need to do is when we finish this process, we want this Google Sheet tab to be deleted. And then we want to know which ones of these display one, two, three, or four we want the user to see the first time and where on that sheet they want to see it. So let's call this const focus. And this is where we're going to focus the user after they've completed the process. And this will be sheet. And we'll call this one display two, we'll say. And then in our object, we'll make a cell. And we'll just drill down, we say we want want them to focus on cell D4. So when the process has completed, they will be navigated to the display two sheet tab at location D4. So let's just put a little comment on there to keep things nice and tidy. Sheet and cell to navigate to when process is complete. All right, so the last variable we need to add in is going to be the name of this setup sheet tab here. So let's go, let's make a comment setup sheet name, and we'll go const again, setup sheet name, equals in double quotation marks. And let's just make sure we don't make a mistake and head back to the Google Sheet, double click it again, and hit Control C to copy back to our IDE and control V to paste. Okay, so that's our variables pretty much sorted out. 
Next, let's get into our Google Sheet class and get the active spreadsheet, which is going to be this one. So we can do this. Uh, let's make another constant and we'll call that SS for spreadsheet and spreadsheet app. Get active spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. And that gets us into the spreadsheet app class. So uh, once we have our spreadsheet class, let's go spreadsheet and we want to get all the sheets. So get sheets. Okay. And then that will give us an array of all the sheets. So we can iterate through that array with a for each. And we'll say for each sheet, and we'll use an arrow function here and curly braces, close that off, hit enter. So for each sheet, we'll say if the sheet to reveal, so it's going to be this one up here, sheet to reveal, includes, so includes is a JavaScript method, and we want that to be sheet dot get name and close our brackets. Cool. So if sheets to reveal includes sheet dot get name, then we want it to be shown. So we can go now sheet dot show sheet. Awesome. Now we want to remove our setup sheet. Go remove. Use our SS class um, constant again. Delete sheet and the sheet will be the ss so spreadsheet dot get sheet by name again and that is going to be the setup sheet so it's going to be this one here i'll click that and just paste that in so we don't make any mistakes and that will delete our setup sheet cool the last thing we want to do is focus on our new sheet tab so we'll say focus on new sheet and we'll say const active sheet. And this one is going to be spreadsheet.get sheet by name again. And we'll get this name from our focus dot sheet. And then we want also to focus on a particular range. So we can go active sheet dot set active range active sheet dot get range and then we can our range value is going to be this focus cell so focus dot cell cool okay so let's give it a test and hopefully everything works out so save that and we will click and we should get the authorization process And now let's use click me to run start a script. And as you can see now, we've got display one, two, three, and four all displayed. And we have been navigated to this display two D4. And you also can see that our setup Google Sheet tab is no longer there. Cool. So that's it for running scripts before they're revealed. As you can see, it's not a 100% foolproof process, but it's pretty good in make, ensuring that the user will run through authorization and then run through the startup script. Now there's a couple of extra things that I've added in the written tutorial, and you can also access that from the description in the links below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click that like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell for the, when the next tutorial comes out. Until next time.